put it in a style that will be universally popular. Certainly, madam. Spitting Image took impersonation on to a different dimension, frankly. It went, it went onto a different planet. For he's a jolly good fella, for he's a jolly good... Wake up, you blithering idiot! You've made another balls up in Europe! And Jeffrey's made a balls up! <laughs> you know, Spitting Image portrayed me as someone who is out of touch, someone who has no humanity. Stephen Allen's Margaret Thatcher voice. Sometimes he'd use four of Thatcher's... Uh, uh, rehearsed voices in one sentence, from the gentle housewife to the screaming militaristic witch. Well, the truth is, I care. I care a great deal. I care, I care, I care, and don't you ever forget it! It's very important that we get people's minds off the unions, the GLC, the EEC, etc., etc., and get them scared about the bomb again. They were so lucky, Spitting Image, to have Steve Nallon, whose impression of Margaret Thatcher it was just, there was nobody did Thatcher like him. Thatcher began with a very, very high voice when she first started, trained it lower as the years went by. Then, of course, with Spitting Image, we had to do Margaret Thatcher in the House of Commons. And in the House of Commons, she was so much louder. The right honourable gentleman doesn't understand the nature of fiscal policy. Then, of course, we had to take her into the Conservative Party conference. That voice? was much more the statesman. We can win. We will win. And then, of course, there was the interview voice, when she tries to mesmerise you, rather like the snake. There are many ways people can help themselves without becoming a burden on the state. For example, if the unemployed are hungry, why don't they eat their own bodies? Good... All that good meat going to waste, it makes me mad. <laughs> I would just like to say it's marvellous to talk down to you. <laughs>